We're going to talk about this little stone. Some people call it a crystal. I call it an interdimensional gem. Now, this is very interesting because this crystal, it's called an amethyst crystal or interdimensional gem, is only made out of two different elements, oxygen and silicon. That's it. And it's very interesting. This crystal is so hard, you wouldn't think it's that hard because, you know, you think that diamonds are hard, but this is actually almost just as hard as a diamond. A diamond on the hardness scale is number 10. This crystal, the amethyst crystals and the quartz crystals are a number eight. So this is a very hard crystal to manipulate and drill or do anything. I used to send these to the jewelers and they used to charge me $20 just to drill a hole in it because it's so hard. I tried to a few times myself, but you just can't drill the hole if you can, if it's very dangerous. What crystals do is remember these are vibrating, harmonic and transmutational devices. Remember they vibrate, they harmonize things, okay, bring things in a certain harmony, and they also transmute, at least the amethyst does. This is why I like to wear the amethyst over my heart chakra. We are run by emotions on this planet, and this is an experiment that I'd like for you to try. Remember, you're not gonna eat anything, you're not gonna do anything, but just wear a crystal. See if you can wear it for six months. You put it on the third rib down, right on top of what's called the angle of Lewis, and the angle of Lewis is where the manubrium, okay, right here, and the sternum meet. And there's a little joint in there, and it's right about here. And this is where you get your electricity. Remember, your heart doesn't really pump your blood. It aids in pumping your blood, but the heart makes electricity. And when we are healthy, wealthy, and happy, it's only because we're harmonic. We're in a vibration that makes us so we become this really a uh, healthy person and how we can really get healthy is by eating the superfoods by actually really hydrating yourself but cheating a little bit by tuning yourself too so what i do is like i said i wear it on the third rib down and i put it on a a necklace i'm going to take mine off here a piece of line here that we'd want to use natural line and you can see how we made this so it can slide. And so this is the type of necklace that we're going to show you how to make. It's very simple. And again, we'll slide this to the camera just like that. Okay. So let's make a necklace. I'm going to cut this one off here. Every three or four or five months, you really need to redo the line uh, because these are very sharp and the corners of the crystal do eat away at the rope a little bit. This is a cotton rope. We also use a hemp rope too. The cotton ones are a little smoother. Um, so we're gonna use this one for right now. It's a little easier to tie to for the first time you've ever tied. What we do is we take about three feet of cord here, cut it, very simple. We take our crystal. Remember, the crystal's got a hole in it, you can see. I'll give you a nice close-up of the hole. And you thread the line through the hole. Find the center here, just like this. Once you find the center of the lines, you want both sides to be the same, what you do is you make yourself a square knot on each side to hold the crystal in place. So all we're gonna do is make a circle on one side. Pull it tight on one side so you can make sure that the crystal is all the way to the other side of the knot and then make another small square knot. What you do is sort of a little secret I'm making because I've made hundreds of these. You make sure that the knot is all the way over before you tighten the other knot. And what you do is you just push the knot and slide it so it gets tight and keeps the crystal, as you can see, so it won't move. Now what you want to do is you want to measure your head because this is going to fit on your head. So what I do is really easy. You can just put this like this and measure where this would fit around your head. So you can see it's about a foot, 13 inches. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to cross the lines together. You just put one over the other one. Very simple. Now all we're going to do is we're going to take the line, each line, and we're going to make another square knot. Very simple. So I'm going to show this for the other camera here. So what we do is measure the head. This is what we got. We have about 13 inches. We cross the two together. And then what we do is make a square knot, go around the rope, pull the end through. And what you're doing is doing this twice. So you bring it through once, like a regular square knot. And all you do is just put the line through the hole one more time. Just turn it around twice. So we'll do that again. Square knot. And then all you do is you just run it through one more time. And then what I just pull it down. And that makes one side of the knot. And you can see how it slides. Very simple. It'll only slide on one of the ropes at a time. So what we do again is before we make the second one, we remeasure. Very simple. Just want to make sure before we tie it again that it's going to fit over our heads. So you want to make it so it's got just a little bit of play, about maybe an inch or so. And all we're going to do is tie the other side. Same thing, square knot. So you take the line, make a circle, pull the line through. Once you get the knot down to a square knot, you run it through twice. That's it, very simple. Pull the rope down, slide the knot, and now you've got yourself a adjustable necklace. You can see, there we go. Very simple. And now all you got to do is just tighten the sides up. When you go in the shower for the first time, the line needs to be tightened again. So what you do is just cut the edge about, give it about a half an inch right there. And same with the other side. Cut off the extra line. And now we've got a beautiful necklace. And you could use this necklace for two different purposes. Remember, you're wearing this every day. This is a transmutational device. You can call it a crystal. You can call it a piece of jewelry. This is a transmutational device to me. Meditation, you can do meditation with this also. And meditation is just really you watching your own breath. Closing your eyes, really, the first stage of meditation. And this sort of looks a little weird, but you put this over your third eye in this area, and this is very powerful. It vibrates. I have crystals in my teeth. I changed my fillings and got 50% quartz crystals and 50% amethyst crystals put in. So we just slide it over like this. And I want to measure third rib down. One, two, three, and you'll feel this lump. One, two, it's, it's right here. There's this lump called the angle of Lewis, and I want to make sure that that's where my crystal lies. And so all I have to do is just slide the lines, and that's it. And put this on, just like that. Wear it as much as you can, and in fact, don't ever take it off. If you're, some people say, I don't want to wear it at night. I do, I don't have any problems with it choking me, but this, remember, rope is very strong, so you gotta make sure if you know, anybody pulls it on you, it will probably most likely break. But for children, you have to be careful that they don't get stuck you know, with anything. You could actually get different types of lines that are stretchy, but if you do get the stretchy ropes, I've seen people pull them out like this and let them go by mistake, or someone pulled them and they fly back and they can chip your teeth out. Uh, this is one of the little secrets to really feeling happy. So give it a try and remember, don't take it off.